In a world of computers, tablets and smartphones, electronic waste, or e-waste, is becoming a major worldwide problem. And China is in the front line, since it's one of the globe's leading producers of electrical and electronic equipment. Guangdong province has seen huge changes. Long submerged in poverty, it's recently seen a boom by becoming a center for recycling e-waste and has created multi-million dollar businesses. The city of Guay has been described as the world's electronic waste basket. 80% of the people here now earn a living by ripping apart old electronics, especially mobile phones and computers. You know, we should really be mindful. Nowadays, people get rid of their old phones all the time. Kaiser Kuo is a director with Baidu, China's largest internet search engine company. Sometimes they end up in uh, cities in coastal China where they are dismantled in very, very unhealthy and unsafe ways that expose not only the, the people doing the disassembly to toxins, to, to dangerous chemicals, but also pollutes the air uh, and the groundwater. Baidu, with its extensive reach, 60 million users in any given month, has worked with the United Nations Development Program to come up with an innovation that could help reduce the improper disposal of electronic waste. We type in the at sign, then it gives me a choice of different electronic products that I might want to recycle. Uh, let's say I decide to recycle this refrigerator here, this old refrigerator. Uh, all I need to do is pick the, the size of the refrigerator, the date that I'd like it to be picked up, and then to take a photo of it. And now I select simply the place where I am and one of the companies that will come uh, and, and pick it up. Along with the US, China produces a third of the world's e-waste. The Chinese Ministry of Environment is encouraging all manufacturers to follow effective recycling procedures. But China is still set to become the world's largest generator of e-waste by 2017. So the search for solutions is more urgent than ever.